and the middle block. The middle block, uh, most people will say it's sideways, and again, it's not pull it as if you're pulling a sword out and shoot your hand out. This means the energy will come from the tan tin, and your hand is down, your hand is up. You put it together with a foot, moving everything together. Everything starts motion, everything stops motion. Sink the weight, run the energy line through. Don't have any energy in any other part of your body. Now, uh, the usage of this, let me pull my partner in again. He punches with that hand. Well, before you do that, uh, do a block. That's a sideways block. Do it again. Hmm. Doesn't work. <clears throat> okay. So, if I was to get that, my punch in on him, he was trying to block it, I, I might be able to blast right through that. I might not, if the guys practice a lot. But instead of practicing a lot, why don't you practice a little and do it right? Put your hand here and block out. And suddenly, I'm pushing against his whole body, and there's his tan tan. He's bracing down the leg, and I'm leaning 200 pounds against him, and he's not going anywhere. He punches with that hand. What? You don't like it when I block it. <laughs> it's like a now, punch. It, it is. It's like a punch. And what's happened here is I actually, I can do it across there, but now I'm a little too far away. And most fights start at a closer distance. So I go across there. Here's the radial nerve right there. There's the joint right there. And you look at that bone right on top. Little pressure point right there. Come back up. Go back down. <laughs> so right on top of that muscle, about an inch down, that's where the pressure point is. And what I do is I shoot the block right across there. I'm not hitting the pressure point, but I like to be as close as possible. If I decide to turn over and grab, I've got my thumb in the crotch of his arm on the pressure point. That which hurts more? The that, pressure point. The pressure is point does. For me. So. And I can always invert him and start to pull him up. So it'll feed into more advanced techniques. But this is a basic technique. Like I'm drawing a sword. He punches. I go across. And I've got the inside track. And I'm ready to punch. And he's not quite ready. And he had to encounter a little bit of pain. Which is not great. No. <laughs> and it, it, again, here we go. The same as on the last thing on the low block. If you're doing a form to the side, this explains a lot because I'm right here, and suddenly he decides he's going to grab me or punch me. Well, there's the shoot, and suddenly I can go up. Oh, I think going away, aren't you? <laughs> and there's breaking the ribs because the rib cage is like this, and if you break them up, they snap easy. If you go like this, they don't they don't break. So I come up, and you can see the revulsion. And what I've also got is uppercut to there, elbow. And there's my second punch, or I can step right through and clear the room as I would with one of those basic classical karate forms. Very simple, very easy to do. So a block, again, is not just a block. It comes out from the tan tan with full energy. It shoots. It rides across pressure points and various vulnerable parts of the arm. It sets up all sorts of stuff. And it can be a real space clear in the uh, classical format of the, uh, the form, the uh, classical Japanese forms or karate forms of any country or type. And that should just about do it. Okay?